from Felix Allison. Should the Broncos draft a cornerback like Richard Sherman? Sure. You know, they, they already cut A.J. Boye. You have enough at some of the other key spots there at cornerback where you can get by with uh, with Bryce Callahan and Michael Ujamudia. If I Ujamudia, uh, Mudia, I botched it. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about there. Those two guys are two starters, and I think you could play Bryce Callahan on the slot if you wanted to. So if you want to bring in Sherman as a vet to be your other outside corner, kick Callahan inside, that takes care of it, at least in, in the short term. Long term, probably still got to draft somebody, be it in day two or day three, but I do think Sherman makes some sense for a lot of NFL teams if they're trying to win now. I wonder if Sherman, though, wants to actually go to Denver. I am not sure that's the case. From Cheater Joltex, would the Broncos be a Super Bowl contender if they can get Watson? I think so, yeah. I'm not saying they're going to be the best team in the AFC West because that's not. That's still the Chiefs. But I think they become the number two team, and I think they're going to at least be able to make a run at it, which is why they should go try and do it. In the end, I don't think they end up getting him, though. From Akash, if Von Miller is released, what team do you think it will take a chance on him? If the off-the-field stuff is clear, which it may not be. We don't know yet. That's still going on. If the off-the-field stuff is clear, roughly 31 teams will have interest. It comes down to the cost, but if Von Miller gets cut, every team looking for a number two edge, a number three edge, even a borderline low-end number one edge at this stage in his NFL career coming off the injury, guess what? They're going to have interest in going after a player like Von Miller. I'm unconvinced he'll end up getting cut, though, by the Broncos. We'll see on that front as we move closer to the start of the NFL offseason. All right, this next one's coming in from Joe Strickland. How about Gregory Russo at number nine to the Broncos? <sighs> well, first off, who's in charge of the Denver Broncos these days? Is it John Elway, who loves edge rushers, or is it George Payton? Because be if, if it's Payton... I don't think Russo fits what his previous organization liked in the Vikings. Okay. I don't think Russo's as good of a fit. And I know you see the size. He did not play at 260, by the way, his last year at Miami, but it's fine. College is a lot of time. You've seen 19.5 tackles for loss, 15.5 sacks, that size, that length, the overall good athletic ability. You go top five lock, right? I got concerns with him. You should. I be mean, his because first year, too. He's only played one year. Yeah. Like, as an edge rusher. Because he played like receiver. He was a receiver, which, like, oh man, he's a receiver, right? The way he won at Miami, the two main ways, and frankly, the majority by a pretty good margin, was he won cleaning up sacks and he won on the interior. And now you're asking him to bulk up beyond what he was actually playing at at Miami. Okay. Is he going to be a more interior guy? Because he didn't win off the edge. Because he, he doesn't know any pass rush moves really yet. Outside of, like, the rip move that destroyed guards every time he used it on them. Because they were guards. The way he won at Miami was, is not as translatable to the way he's going to have to win in, in, in the NFL. Okay. So the upside is very intriguing. Ignore the sack numbers. They are deceptive as to how good of a prospect he currently is. Interesting. I don't want him at number nine overall. If he's there in round two, hell yeah, sign me up. You trade down, okay. I can't spend a top ten pick on him. All right, so who will the Broncos draft at number nine? Go down in the comments section and let us know. This is the one's coming in from Shana. What up, my man? Broncos sign Richard Sherman, re-sign Simmons, and K-Jack. Draft Sertan, sign William Jackson. New no-fly zone, can this happen? I hate it because you have invested. You, and I, I, I Signed Simmons, of course. Yes. You know, you keep Kareem Jackson. There's one of your safeties. You're going to keep. So, yeah, you have your two safeties locked in. Now your cornerback room is Richard Sherman, Patrick Sertan, Michael Ojemudier. If I got that wrong, I'm sorry. I always, I always get it wrong for some reason. And Bryce Callahan. You and William, and William Jackson's Jackson. on your team too, so like you can't play all those guys. Yeah. So there's no reason to pay massive money to Sherman and Jackson and then draft Sertan. Do one of those three things, and okay. you're set at corner. Got a special deal going on today's show. If you need a new hat, we got you covered here. So go to chatsports.com/hatsale, where all NFL hats at that link are under thirty dollars. Some of them are actually as low as five dollars and okay. ninety nine cents. So. Some of the hats that I saw were more like these beanie styles here, Tom, mm -hmm. where they're originally 25 bucks. Actually, the Bronco, there was like five Broncos beanies <laughs> under $7. Wow. I was like, oh, Good my deal. Lord, it's incredible. But 
If you are more fan of a trucker hat, curve bill, flat bill, snapback, beanie, it's cold out. We yeah. got you covered here. Go to chatsports.com slash hat sale. It's pretty simple, and if you're a hat guy, hey, we can rep your team. All 32 teams available, yeah. all different sizes as well for literally any single person I, out there. I, I don't need the beanie anymore because it went from zero degrees to 70 degrees in it's less than a week It's literally 100 degrees hotter in Dallas, Texas this week than what it was last week. Absolutely mind-blowing. But – Seriously, though, I, that's very that's wrong, but okay. How is it wrong? It's not a hundred degrees out, Mitch. But real feel. Okay, that's different. Feels eh. like is very different than temperature. It felt like minus twenty. It's like 70, 80 degrees here. Okay. I don't know. It's hot. Chatsports.com slash hat sale. We got awesome deals. Hats as low as five ninety nine. All right, we got a uh, Teresi Basin Farley or Sertain. S- I don't know. I like Caleb Farley the most. Never met a Therese, Now, he, he hasn't played that much corner. He was a receiver initially, but I think the upside that, his, that he brings, his size, his ath- Athleticism. Uh, athletic ability, his production in terms of ball skills, it, it's a lot to, to turn down. Now, I, he's still got some technique stuff to work through, but he hasn't played that much corner. I would take Farley. That's, that's my guy. And here's a super chat from Jaden Anderson. Picks for MVP next year. Uh, healthy Dak Prescott? Nah, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I mean, no. it wouldn't. I mean, he was on pace to throw for like six thousand yards. He's gonna be in the discussion this year, and they probably would have made the playoffs. I mean, he's my front runner for comeback player of the year. He's the lock for comeback uh, player of the year. If, if he plays play sixteen games, uh, I mean, Patrick Mahomes. I'll throw him out there. If you want a more of a dark horse sleeper, I mean, I think a guy like Kyler Murray is interesting to me. If you want a super super sleeper. Justin Herbert. I mean, think about okay. the year two leaps. Lamar Jackson won it in year two. Patrick Mahomes won it in year two. And if I'm going to pick a rookie, I could see a guy like Justin Herbert. Don't 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 fall for the Kyler Murray trap again, though. Okay. Fair Just enough. Saying. Fair enough. From my burner account, allegedly, with the reduction in the 2021 salary cap, not yet official, by the way, which positional group will have the hardest time securing a long-term deal? Yes is my first question there. Or my first answer, I think at some level, all of them will be impacted. Not quarterback. They're, they're going to pay quarterbacks, guys. I think it, it becomes even a more steep of the has and have not. So I think running backs in particular, they're going to get squeezed. I think you'll see plenty of one-year deals as teams and players try to cash in on a rising salary cap as we move forward. Now, if you guys want more NFL videos, hit that big red button and subscribe to Chat Sports. The link is below, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. And keep an eye on that link below. It's about to change because we got a whole bunch of NFL team channels available for you guys. So if you're a Cowboys fan, well, go subscribe to our Cowboys channel. Raiders fans, go join Mitchell Rett, Renz over at YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. Our Niners channel up and uh, up and growing every single day. YouTube.com slash Niners TV. We got a Bears channel. Or, or 49ers TV, my bad. 49ers TV. I always mix those two up. The Bears channel. YouTube.com slash Bears now. We're not done yet, though. Our new-ish Seahawks channel is rapidly growing, approaching 18,000 subscribers. We have an Eagles channel as well. YouTube.com slash Eagles now. A Chiefs channel led by Harrison Graham at Chiefs TV. Our relatively new Dolphins channel. On top of that, 12.3K subs. We got my boy Micro Mike running things over on Detroit Lions Talk. That's over 12K subscribers. Producer Sam, we gave him a channel to to cheer for his Broncos. YouTube.com slash Broncos TV. And our just launched Falcons channel as well. Chatsports.com slash Falcons TV. If you want a channel for your team, stay tuned. The Empire is built is being built. It doesn't get built in a day, so just be patient. 